This was a moment that happened to me a few, few weeks back. And it's been, it's been on my mind a little bit. And ever since it happened, it's been on my mind that I wanted to just put it out into words, put it out into something that I could watch and revisit. Um, I was in a some random night. I was wanting to get out of the house, not quite sure what led to me wanting to get out of the house, but I wanted to get out of the house. And I was somewhat hungry, I was like, well, if I'm gonna get out of the house, I might as well just look for food. And I decided, you know what, I'm gonna go to my favorite kebab shop and buy a kebab so I can eat. And um, yeah, he stood it up, put on my jacket, put on whatever clothes I already put on, and put my AirPods on, open Spotify, and just click the worship music <laughs> so I could listen to some good songs while heading there. Just to give some context, I guess it's about a 15 to 20 minute walk from my house to my favorite co-op shop and so I was just happy I guess it was a bit cold it was not as cold as it is now now it's snowing in Newcastle but it, it was just just like two three degrees right now it's probably like minus five but yeah I, I just went very peaceful it was a Saturday night I think so Newcastle is very known for its for its uh, night night life. So as I was heading there, as I approached, you know, the main city, the High Street and, and Dublin Street, things started to get really loud. Um, there was, you know, people enjoying the night, people enjoying Newcastle. You know, it's fine. <laughs> I'm not, not anything against that, but uh, yeah. it ended up just being that, and I got into my kebab shop, and there was a queue, obviously, because th th it was in, in the market, that, that market was full of shops, kebab shops, uh, and yeah, just just set my order, uh, for those who are curious, I guess. Uh, ordered a ke large kebab wrap with chips and garlic sauce <laughs> that's what I always do and that's what I ordered and yeah there's a lot of teenagers a lot of students I mean not teenagers a lot of students in there and I was just waiting for my order and it came like a batch of students who were you know just enjoying the nightlife and the owner of the establishment I guess wanted to increase the mood um, because I think one of the girls told them it's someone's birthday so they put on that song uh, uh, it's your birthday we're gonna party it's your birthday and they put on that song and during this is where like yeah the brother turned on the sound system in, in his restaurant. I could not hear anything else but that song. And he played the whole song and it was really loud. And you know, oh party, it's your birthday. No, 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 it's your birthday. And everyone was like singing along, but they only sang to the chorus. They only sang to the chorus. Uh, and every time the chorus came on, we were like, Hey, party! It's your birthday. And, uh, it's, you know, you know the drill. And uh, it 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 became into this into this moment where 
the every time it was not the chorus, people went. They, they were sat in their chairs and people went into their phones. And then, as the chorus came, they would drop their phones and they would sing the chorus really happily with each other. And then back into their phones and chorus and back to their phones. And then the song stopped and the owner, I guess, decided to not play any more songs. And the light and soft sound of a worship song. I can't quite remember which song it was, but the light and soft and praiseful sound of a worship song started coming back and flowing to my ears. The sound of the other song that I put on in the system was no longer overflowing. The worship song that was going on in, in my headphones and it struck me so hard at that moment because um, it, it, it just like wow you know I was listening to the song whether I wanted it or not I was listening to the song as well and as soon as the other thing stopped the worship storm came up and then it came into realization through the really realization in my head no that's not what happened the worship song never left it was always that I just couldn't hear it I simply couldn't hear it but it never left it was always that and then it came the realization of is always that when we go into the world when we do worldly things when we put the world above God when we love the world more than we love our God and break you know the first commandment of love your God with all your heart it's not like God is gonna be like you're not going to help while you are in that moment God was right there, right there, God was right there, God never left, God was watching you do the deed, God never left, and I assure you, the same way I couldn't hear the worship song, the worship song was still there, the worship song was still playing, the worship song was still trying to catch my attention, it was still inside my ears, and it's like it's the same thing. And I feel like God was just saying, are you in the world? Have you sinned so much that the things that give you small pleasure, like the song, just gave you that small moment and then you're back into your phones looking for more moments, looking for more things that will make you happy. And then the song again in this is infinite loop of always looking for happiness. Up, look, he's looking for joy, for pleasure. The reality is, the one who gives the eternal joy, the eternal happiness, the eternal feeling of our spirit, of the things we need, we really need, is always there. And God is saying, or was saying to me in this saying now have you sinned so much that you feel like you can't come have you sinned so much that you can't hear me have you sinned so much that you think i've forsaken you and i'm sending you to hell no i never left i never God was saying that to me as well. I never left. I was always there. And you don't need to look for a song that 
that will give you temporary happiness. You don't need to look for your phone, look at what's happening in the world, what's happening in your circle to look for happiness. You don't need to look at all those things. The song that I play never left. The song that gives you everything that you need, the song of God, never left. So, there's never I've sinned too much. Have you been mean to someone? Have you done sexual immorality? Have you stolen, killed someone? Not honor your parents? God is saying, that's okay. I forgive you. I forgive you. Just come back. Come back to my song. Come back to the one song that doesn't stop playing. Come back to the one who doesn't stop listening to you. Come back to the one who keeps wanting to hear you. Who keeps wanting to speak to you. Who keeps wanting to have joy with you keeps wanting to give you those moments do you believe that you're so far gone that nothing can reach you well God is saying there's nothing that I, my love there's nothing that my life as God stop me from loving you so much I feel like God blew my mind there it's like yeah it comes back to that moment of massive song it was so loud I could hear nothing to it but the one song that didn't stop playing was God's song it's God's eternal song it's God's amazing song it's God's song that gives everything to those who need anything so I, I just want to pray now if you are hearing this, this resonates with you. I want to pray with you now. Let's, let's soften our hearts. Let's breathe. Let's stop what we're doing. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's clear our minds. Let's think about the eternal one. Father, thank you that you never stop. Jesus, you never stop. You're in heaven now because you never stop. Your song doesn't stop. Your love doesn't stop. Your presence, you speaking, Jesus, you, you don't stop. Father, I pray, would you open my heart? Would you open the heart of the person who's listening to this? Would you show them how faithful you are? Would you show them all the promises that you have made? Spirit, all of the comforter that you've blessed us with. And would you show that your song is eternal, that we don't need to look for songs in the world, we don't need to look for news, attention in our phones, 
anything that will spark something in our hearts because Lord you are the Alpha and the Omega the beginning and the end the one who said in the beginning I created the heavens and the earth Jesus, thank you for the gifts that you offer us. Come back to us. Let us come back to the Father as he comes back to us. God, right now, is with his arms wide open, smiling, shouting of joy. Every angel in the sky is shouting, praising Lord, because you are coming back. And if you're not really aware of how these things work, but you want to accept God's free gift of forgiveness and eternal life, eternal joy, eternal peace, and probably the most important of them all, eternal love. Then I'll ask you to follow this small prayer, echo it in your heart. Just think like as you're thinking it, as you're saying it inside your head. Jesus, thank you for loving me, for dying for my sins and rising from the dead. I done from the wrong things, from the wrong songs I've done and I've listened so I can follow you, follow your song. Come into my heart right now. I confess that Jesus is Lord and I receive you as my Savior. Even though song that has been playing in my ears is not the one I will now listen to your song that means that I thank you for your forgiveness and thank you for making me your child and calling me into sonship in Jesus name Bless you.